Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this. So that is the Sid remix of Alone by Halsey. He's such a great producer. It's such a fat sounding drop. I had to remake this one. As always, the MIDI and serum patches will be down below. Let's jump right into it with this lead sound. So this lead sound is just one single voice of a saw wave, except it's the effects and everything that give it all the magic. So this is what the envelope looks like. It's kind of an odd shape. It has a little bit of a slower attack, but a really short decay time and a short release time. So this envelope is modulating this low pass 18 filter. It's also modulating a few things in the effects section. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the effects off and play you the sound and then turn them back on. So the first effect, I have the envelope modulating the hypermix right here with four voices of unison. It gives the sound a kind of detune characteristic that I could hear in the original sound. Next up, we have the envelope modulating the drive and the mix of this diode one distortion, and that's giving the sound a lot of its fatness. Then I have this hall reverb with the size all the way down and the decay at only two seconds. And I have this envelope also modulating the mix of that up to about 50%. Another big part of the sound is this envelope three, which is modulating the noise oscillator. And it's even shorter than envelope two because you only want the white noise to play for a quick second. I also have the noise oscillator routing through the filter too. Next up, there are two main bass layers. Together they sound like this. First layer is just a saw wave, pitch two octaves down in serum. And it has this envelope with a pretty short decay because it's a really short bass sound. And in the effects section, I have this envelope modulating the drive and the mix of the distortion to make it sound fatter too. Then to add even more of an attack to the sound, I've showed you guys this trick before. You go into the matrix tab, whatever envelope you're using, in this case envelope 3, you select envelope 3 from the source menu. Then I brought the value up to about 30 on here. Then in destination, you choose global, master tune, and make sure the arrow is just pointing one way. And then you can barely see this envelope here, but what you wanna do is take the decay all the way down to about 10 milliseconds. And what this will do is just give a sharp attack to the sound. I'll mess with the decay so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. So you just want a subtle effect. You don't want it to be too extreme. For processing on the bass, I have the CLA bass plugin with some compression, some distortion, and some chorus. And here's the EQ I have for it too. Next bass layer sounds like this by itself. And it's kind of a vowel-y vocal sounding bass. So for that, you go into the vowel section and go to Duda Choir. And I have the wavetable position set about here. It's just one voice of unison, um, similar shaped envelope to the last bass. In the effects tab, I have some tube distortion, some phaser, some chorus, and a formant 3 filter on there. The formant filter really just makes it sound even more vocally and vowelly. And envelope 3 I'm using to create that same attack effect that I did in the last bass. Other than that, there's just a simple sub underneath those basses. It's just a saw sub layer. And there's some really fat drum samples going on too. So he uses these laser sounding kick effects a lot of time in between the kick samples. So I'll show you what they sound like. He might make those in serum from scratch, but I just found a sample that sounded good. But it really just adds some fatness to the drum arrangement, having some more low end samples in between the kicks instead of just the kick. And if you want to get claps this fat sounding, make sure to use a couple different clap layers and then layer that with a snare underneath them to give it some punch. All right, that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram below to stay up to date with what I'm doing. Check out my own music on Spotify if you want to below too. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.